Hi everyone, it's October 25, 2018. In research that I was doing, I just came across translations of USSR, Science and Technology, Biomedical Sciences, Effects of Non-Ionizing Electromagnetic Radiation. Well, they have a section related to the millimeter wave. There are many more effects of 5G that I have not heard anybody talk about. This paper, by the way, is, uh, or this document, is really um, very <laughs> educational in terms of what microwaves, electromagnetic frequencies, and the millimeter wave, which is 5G, the biological effects. The Russians were on it, they studied it, and they published this paper in 1977, and we translated it so our government, our military knows exactly what they are doing, rolling out dangerous frequencies. That started, that started long ago decades, two decades ago, the rollout of the cell phone, the telecommunications industry knew that the cell phone was likely to cause cancer and they just hid that and rolled it out anyway and did our government bother to even study the biological effects of the frequencies coming just from the cell phone? No. No, roll it out. So now we have the rollout of 5G and boy, we are going to see an explosion of disease of people who are going to come down with skin cancer and an awful lot more now that I have looked at that section. The Russians, they have studied that 5G biological effect of millimeter radio waves. Morphological, functional, biochemical studies conducted in humans and animals revealed that millimeter waves caused changes in the body manifested in structural alterations in the skin and internal organs, qualitative and quantitative changes of the blood and bone marrow composition, and changes of the conditioned reflex activity tissue, respiration, activity of enzymes, per participating in the processes of tissue, respiration, and nucleic metabolism. The degree of unfavorable effect of millimeter waves depended on the duration of the radiation, which we will be saturated in 24-7, and the individual characteristics of the organism. Now, Every organism, not just humans, but all life, affected by microwaves, affected by this uh, millimeter wave, which, by the way, we've already been introduced with the millimeter. Radar uses, the, the radar is within the millimeter range. And look at all of the Doppler radar signatures coming out all over the country and the extremely low frequencies. Um, and having read your comments, and I'm going to be reading an awful lot of them into a video, it is really heartbreaking. I want to say shocking, but I don't. it's not shocking to me because I know how dangerous these frequencies are. But there are a lot of people suffering. A lot of you guys are really suffering. And I have to say there have been changes going on with these frequencies here where I live in Anderson, South Carolina and I can I can note tone changes and yeah 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 I've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia chronic fatigue but there are noticeable changes in me when we have that horizon to horizon thick cloud 
covering, which they need to increase frequencies to keep that solid. And on the days when I see visible in the sky, the microwaves, or when they are setting us up for another fabulous weather event, um, nothing I can do alleviates the pain. It's, you know, I want to say, is this like the fibromyalgia flare-up that people have? Um, it may be. Microwaves can keep conditions alive, can keep bacteria, viruses alive and well in you. But that's for another video. The 5G. These millimeter cells that are going out all over the country. We are already using millimeter. Military radar uses it. But the millimeter cells that are going out all over, it is absolutely for surveillance 24-7 of you walking down the street, everything you carry on your body, everything in your briefcase or pocketbook, everything will be detected. And that data will very quickly go to a database and everything that you're carrying will be noted in your profile. Everything going on in your home. No joke. Everything you do at work or in a store, these millimeter waves will be capable of following all of us all the time. But they're also used for the smart grid, the Internet of Things. Millimeter wave, it's fast, and all of those sensors talking to one another, well, they need a frequency that can pull that all together, and it will be 5G. So these millimeter waves that we're already uh, walking around in with all of this, these Doppler radar stations, emitting their frequencies. We're going to be closer to the millimeter wave now with all of these small cells put outside our home, put all over, you know, where we shop and where we walk around. So we're going to be more affected in an unfavorable way. The degree of unfavorable effect of millimeter waves depended on the duration of the radiation. So the duration of the radiation will be 24-7. Individual characteristics of the organism relates to body size. So the ubiquitous propagation of radio waves, radio broadcasting, television is contributing to the appearance of a new physical factor electromagnetic waves of the radio frequency range in recent years, it has been established that radio waves of different ranges, well, they too have an unfavorable influence on the organism. It's known that these frequencies are dangerous. The effect of radio waves leads to change of the functions of the nervous, cardiovascular, and other systems of the organisms. However, in the literature, there's almost no information about the biological effect of radio frequencies of the millimeter range, although that range is widely used in technology and the question of its biological activity has acquired special urgency. So the Russians did the studies and what they found should, should really, uh, I want to say scare, none of this scares me, um, but it should make everybody go, okay, 5G, not good. We need to get this stopped. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, these studies, these morphological, uh, functional, biochemical indicators, which play an essential, essential, essential role 
in the formation of reactions of the organism disclosed various disorders in the experimental animals. The energy of millimeter waves absorbed primarily and mainly by the skin, the skin of irradiated animal deformation of the receptor apparatus and well-expressed changes of a reactive character were observed in the skin layer properly speaking appeared bunches of nerve fibers with hypertrophy hypertrophy not pronouncing that right of a portion of the fiber and sections with demyelinization In the dermis, among the collagen fibers, were small trunks of various thickness, the neural conductors of which were fragmented in separate cases, and phenomena of demyelinization were observed in the surface layers. Hypertrophy, hypertrophy, enlargement of organs or tissue due to enlargement of cells demyelinization, damage to the myelin sheath. Myelin sheath, really important. It's the protective layer that surrounds uh, nerve fibers in your brain, optic nerve, spinal cord, myelin sheath. When you get damage to the myelin sheath, it, it causes many neurological problems. Um, I'm not going to read all of what I excerpted from that chapter, but it affects structures of tissue of the mitocardium, liver, kidney, spleen disorders. It affects our blood, disrupts permeability of the vascular membranes. Um, tissue dystrophy, qualitative and quantitative shifts in enzymes and in uh, cells, blood cells, affects red blood cells, affects white blood cells. And those blood cells needed for a well-functioning bone marrow and lymphatic system affected everything, affected everything. So as a result of these investigations conducted by us on animals irradiated with millimeter waves, disorders of conditioned reflex activity have been established, weakening of the stimulatory process and uh, increasing other processes that are not, that are influencing in an unfavorable direction our health, suppression of the function of the central nervous system, there are a lot of scientific terms in here that I had to look up, and some of them I had to learn how to pronounce, but I don't have the energy. And if you want to go ahead and do that, if you need to know the exact effects, click on the link below and do a lot of studying. But the effect of millimeter radio waves um, has a variation of the content and ratio of catecholamines. In the blood, the concentration increased. In the hypothalamus, the adrenaline content increased. Noradrenaline level dropped. In the cerebral cortex, there was a slight redistribution of catecholamines. In the adrenal glands, the adrenal content doubled and the noradrenaline level dropped by 11% in comparison with that in the unirradiated animals. 
the adrenaline concentration in the adrenal glands remained elevated by 60% 10 days after the irradiation ceased. Results indicate well-expressed changes of metabolism of catecholamines under the influence of millimeter waves, both in the hormonal and in the sympathetic components of the sympathetic adrenal system and also reflect changes of the functional activity of its hormonal and mediator components. All of what I am reading is damaging to our health. Irradiation of animals by the millimeter wave caused changes of the processes of oxidative uh, phosphorylation Hell. in the liver, kidneys, heart, and brain of the animals. Irradiation inhibited the oxygen, oxygen consumption rate by the mitochondria of these organs in the active phosphorylating, phosphorylating I, oh God, state and slowed down the rate of resp uh, respiration upon exhaustion. In the liver and kidneys of irradiated animals, the intensity of this process decreased by 64%. The values of the respiratory controls decreased by 26 and 28% respectively, and the changes were less expressed in the heart and brain. Influence of millimeter waves on the state of nuclear exchange showed that in the liver, spleen, kidneys, lungs, and heart, there was a reduction of the content of the nucleic acids. Um, substantial changes in the protein metabolism, which occurred under the influence of multiple irradiation of animals by millimeter radio waves. Evidently, the reduction of milli the reduction of the general energy level occurring in the organism under the influence of millimeter radio waves caused a suppression of all functions of the organism, including suppression of synthetic processes, but especially of nucleoprotein metabol metabolism, uh, which is very energy consuming. You feeling sick already, guys? Feeling not well? Exhausted? This is going to cripple so many of us. So, the conducted investigations indicate high bi biological activity and unfavorable influence of millimeter radio waves on the organism. The expressness of the biological reactions increased with increase of the period of irradiation and was dependent on individual characteristics of the organism. So all of you who are sensitive already, you are absolutely, if you don't reduce your exposure to the microwaves that you have, get rid of your cell phone, hardwire your computer, uh, protect yourself from the smart meter, you can put aluminum screening on the inside wall that overlaps the smart meter on the outside wall to reduce the frequencies coming into your home. Um, get rid of your Wi-Fi and get a flip top phone because those smartphones and iPhones are far more dangerous than these flip top phones that I get laughed at for using. Um, yeah. We've got a whole lot coming down the pike, guys. So, I don't know. Buckle your seatbelts, buckle them tight, because we are in for the ride of our life. The link is below.